You don't want to go out. I know you don't. You don't. Meow. Give me attitude, bro. It's crazy. <laughs> what? Hi. Okay, if I let you up here, you're not allowed to just like take off though. Immediately, okay? You're not allowed to scratch up my dress either like you did last time. Come here. Come here. Hey, come here. Come on. Winter, do you want to come up or not? Winter. A weird cat. Winter. What? I got. <laughs> don't know what I did. I let. I said you can come up. Come on. Come on. Oh my god. You make my life so hard. Miss Winter. Miss Winter. Miss Winter. Come on. Winter. <gasps> Yippee. Who's the. Oh, Paimon has something to say. There's a what? Who's gossiping about me? Who's gossiping? I want to hear it. Do they have something to say? About Fontaine now? <gasps> Last time I checked it was still Sumeru. The Academia. You're- Dude. You're- <laughs> Hold on. I'm just gonna say it. I think- I think it might have been the Fatui that was causing issues. Is wonderful. That's just Surely that's just a hunch though. So don't don't ask me. What? Fountain of Lucy Max level increased. There's a level. Hey yo. Hold on. Before we get to any of that. I have a lot of questions. I have a lot of questions. It is him! Oh, and it's it how? I only have like 20 though. I can buy four? Nice. Can you imagine I bought the wrong fucking thing? I'd cry my eyes out. <laughs> Hold on. I want to try his character. I want to try him. Ooh, he looks cool. Does he? Yeah, his hair is pretty cool, I guess. Wish my hair looked like that. Ah, he has a cane. <laughs> okay, that's actually like sick as hell. Yeah, he solos. He doesn't even need anyone. <laughs> you look great. I'm lurking. Thanks, Shade. Wait, we're floating. Oh my god, he's so cool. Wait, is it because I'm holding? <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god, he's solo. He doesn't need anyone. His. Okay, wait, hold on. He solos, but I'm also scared for his life. <laughs> oh, he does have like a beam of <laughs> power. Is that what I'm gonna call it? A beam of power? Thank you. Thank you. I did complete that. He's so cool! Um, I need to, 
I don't want to do the task too, just because, um. Our conquest! Yippee! Oh god. It's from the chasm seahorse, isn't it? Miss Mitte. So. Key cat. I mean. Wait, this hotel is so much better than my hotel. What the hell? Why is this hotel so much better than mine? This sucks. Oh my god. Why why doesn't my hotel do this? That's the question. <laughs> I want mine to be this strong. <gasps> oh my god, that didn't do anything. Oh wait, hold on, hold on. I know what to do. There we go. That's all we need, right? <laughs> That's what I need to do. I put her on my team and I'm good to go. Oh no, I wasted it. Oh god. Oh wait, here we go. This is. Oh my god, that was so much damage. Wait. What? See, this is what I knew what would happen. You'd want to leave as soon as I was done. I started streaming. Okay. I think we can get one more? Yeah. Okay, so should I just do like a 10 pull real quick? See what we get? I feel like I should wait for people. See if anyone shows up first. Um, okay. What's up? Is this the one where I just like destroy the things? How would you do that with other characters? What? I guess maybe there's like a standard character that can do it, I assume. I don't fucking know. I just work here, dog. Uh. One with nature. Nope. Get away from me, freak. <gasps> Aww. Oh, wait, I have so Ooh. I mean, I have Child, but he's not very strong. I feel like Diona's stronger. Okay, we got him here. We got him here. We got him here, though. Like, on God. Oh, wait. I should have waited for it to come down. 
Okay, get down here. Get down here. Get down here, please. There we go. There we go. There we go. No, my soul. Body of rain outlines your whirling snow. Okay, not too bad. Yeah, that's a pain in the ass. I got one set 100%. That's crazy. Run, run. Uh oh. God, I need a better team. This team can't fight like a third of what I come up against. Oh no. There we go. Probably could have done that with Kazuha though. Hi Panda, what's up? I have uh, 24 poles, that's it. <laughs> that, is, that feels like a lot, but it also feels like very little. I don't know. How are we feeling now? Uh, I'm fine now, but my throat hurts. I don't, I don't know where that came from. One thing gets better, another thing gets worse. What is this? Time to go. Approach the village. Ah, uh, I used to have this memorized and I don't anymore. I don't have it memorized anymore. Oops, sorry, that was an accident. Uh, I think it's this one. This one. Can the, can you shoot the events tab? What? And then this one? Hey, hey, gamer. So, oh hell yeah, hell yeah. Oh show. Okay, yeah, one minute. Let me just get the the thing. There's more Archon quests, and I really want to do it, but I kind of want to do it. On a day that I start my stream earlier, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Thank you for I am heckin' not sure. Ninety-seven. That's it. Events. Oh yeah, we did this test run. It was amazing. Uh, we have that. Is this what we need for him? Oh no, this is probably what we need for him. If we got him. And then I want to go to... I don't know what to do! I don't know what to do. Is there nothing regarding the anniversary? That is on... That I think happens on um the 28th is the anniversary so i think it doesn't it doesn't come until the 28th they don't give you the the anniversary stuff so i'll pro i'll do like a separate stream for that i think Granny face? Yeah, I don't know. Or I'll just do
do all of it that day. I could just play Honkai tonight. I don't know. Hmm. Who the fuck is Water Dragon Boy? Ooh, so baby girl. Your mother. <laughs> T-Pad, I'm playing for a She's asking, dog. Mm. Yeah, okay, buddy. Uh, I do want him, but I don't- I'm like, I don't want to use- I love having, like, a number here. <laughs> I don't know, I was just waiting for people to- to watch. Who is that? Uh, you don't recognize your mom- well, I'm kidding. <laughs> he has a cane, he's old as shit. He has beautiful, beautiful hair that I wish I had, personally. Now, I don't play this game, thank god. I mean, you're right, but, like, I ain't gonna take that shit. <laughs> you get to save money for Persona. Right? Yeah, I gotta save money for Persona. I definitely didn't spend any of it on a different gacha game, and that's definitely why I couldn't buy it when it came- <laughs> when it was on sale. <laughs> okay, okay, man. Why was there a huge pause there? <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> There's no pause. Everything's great. <laughs> Listen, I'm just tired. Of not having Persona. I can't wait to play that game. I'm sure it'll go on sale again soon. Like for Christmas sale or something. I don't know. Do they do like a Halloween sale? <laughs> yeah, man. Copium. Um, yeah, I don't know, man. That's crazy. All right. There was an ad break. Is that where pa is Panda not subscribed? That's so sad. Wait, yes, they are. Okay. I think I will pull for him. But I don't know if I should do it now or later. I don't know if anyone else is going to join tonight. Wait, sorry. What happened? Nothing. Literally nothing. Bro, don't pull, man. What the fuck is you doing? You right, I don't pull. I get no bitches. C6 now, real. Playing plants versus zombies. Uh, I'm pulling five stars. Oh, I'm pulling four stars. <laughs> I'm not even pulling four stars. I just got this shitty ass weapon. <laughs> the thing is, I think the character that comes after him is like 100% better. <laughs> I think it's like... Good doom. Oh wait, I can buy one of these. Look, we can get more. And one of these. See, it's all good. I want more? I think you mean 10 more! <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Are you kidding me? Please tell me I at least got like a character. Oh, I got like the worst one. Your luck is cheating. <laughs> True. Oh no. <laughs> oh god. This is, this is so sad. Um, I think they're resetting this soon, so now we have to go again. True, true. I'm not gonna spend it on that. That's silly. 
I only have seven mouse. I have to do each one individually. We'll just get one more four star. You know, we're just building pity. That's all. That's it, you know? Oh my god, what the hell is this? Not like this. <laughs> oh, we got another one, see? All good. No issues. We're just building pity right now. You know? But you can't end on official. Real? <laughs> I can't end on official. That's like, that's a fat L. That's just embarrassing. Um, well, we're just building pity, guys. Come on. And technically, we're on a 50 50, so you need help, bro. <sighs> Do I, though? I didn't. I haven't spent any money on this game in, like, months. I think my path to recovery is, um, going smoothly. I don't want to do the Archon quest. I want to wait till, like, I have a better stream. Yeah, yeah, it's pity, it's pity, it's pity. That's all we're doing. We're just building pity. God, I have so many fucking things to do. How much is your pity now? However many that was. Like, 30-something? About 30-something, yeah. God, I wish I just had more Primo gems so I could keep pulling. That's like the only fun part about this game. <laughs> Gamblers quit before they never stop gambling. So true. God, why would I stop gambling? That doesn't make any sense. Statistically speaking, I have to win eventually. Uh, by the way, hi, hi, David. You gotta spend money. What if the next pull you get is six five stars? Can't end on official. You're so right. Maybe I should get some of these. Might as well, right? I think they're gonna reset the store, though. I'm, I, I feel like I should also save it. But at the same time, I'm gonna get a lot more pulls, so I'm gonna have a ton more of it. I'm doing some high-level calculations right now, guys. I mean, they're dumb, but it's kind of fun. I just- I just want to gamble. I just- I need to gamble. How you doing? Uh, I've been sick. All day. And then I slept from like 7pm to 9pm. Like 6.30ish pm to 9pm, so... I'm doing alright. <laughs> I'm trying to decide if I want to do the Archon quest tonight. What do you guys think? Comment below which one I'm kidding. Okay, I'm taking- I gotta go. I got to do homework? Ew. <laughs> Bye, Panta. Uh, guys, what do you think? Should I do- should I do the Archon quest? I could start it. I could just start it. And see, you know, how it goes. Might as well, I don't feel like doing anything else. Oh my god, I just like jumped into the water. Vegetables, give me, give me your vegetables and fruit. She's giving me legal advice on how to outrun the law. You're so real for that. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Can I take this book? I'm taking this book. I'm stealing this book. I'm only really doing what you taught me, you know. You taught me how to steal, ma'am. And now I'm gonna steal from you. Yep, it's the room, and it's empty and waiting for us as promised. Ah, Nubia is such a good person. 
Is she though? Hmm. Now that the serial disappearances case has been solved, no one's going to come after us for I'm worried about child. I want my baby boy back. Okay, I just don't believe Paimon's reading books or anything. Paimon didn't expect that style at all. Even though it's a detective novel, you're a pretty slow reader, Paimon. You're pretty slow, Paimon. Do you know if the Traveler and Paimon are lodging here? It's me, bitch. Huh? Who are you? There are no other blondes that look like me. I am like floating Wait. Paimons. You're give us trouble, are you? A blonde traveler and a chatty little fairy. <sighs> Looks like I found the place. I was gonna say, there's no way you don't know that it's us. It's an honor to meet you both. I was sent from the Palais Mermonia. Monsieur Nourilette wishes to see you. It seems he has some very common these days. In person. Nourilette? He wants to see Nouvelle. you again already? Huh. We talked so much the last time we met. Has something happened since- I am not privy to the details. It would be best if you came to the Palais Marmonia and asked Monsieur Nourilette in person. This better be about child. I- I want him back. I want him prison break operation. Please. I'm busting my boy out. Now that I've delivered the message, I'll take my leave. You look like a sad dog, Isadora. I hope you always remember that every time you look in the mirror. Remember my words. Guys, I'm gonna be real with you. I think I need to go make a sandwich. God, every time I stream, I just I want to eat a sandwich. I love sandwiches. Where do you want me to go? Oh, we have more area! <gasps> bum 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 bum. Bum 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 bum. Yeah, I'm gonna go here. Cause I don't know where they want me to go. I'm confused. Oh wait, I think it wants me to... Charlotte is... Con no! No! They should prioritize the Archon quest over any other quest for the characters. This is so dumb. It's natural for a woman to want to make sandwiches. You know, you right. What was I thinking? It's just my natural instincts kicking in. Those primal instincts as a woman. Listen, I'm hungry. I ate some day-old popcorn and that was it. So, you know. Girl dinner! <laughs> have sigils? I do have sigils. Ew. You're ew. Day-old? Yeah. And, like, the flavor seeps in, you know? When it's, like, a day-old. Wait, I want... I want this. Soggy? Why would it be soggy? What kind of popcorn do you- Where do you store your popcorn that it gets soggy? What is wrong with you? Dear God. Okay, can I cancel the quest that they're busy with? Is currently busy with Phantom Thief's reappearance. Dear God, where did you go? <laughs> My popcorn gets stale, if anything. Yeah, it gets stale. Definitely. It doesn't have as much flavor. It's not- we're not headed to Flavor Town when I be eating the stale popcorn. Guys, I want- I want sigils. I want hydro sigils. Where do I get them? Chests? Probably chests. 
All right. Oh, we should broke our. We didn't break our legs. The the nice hard cement broke our fall. <laughs> Okay. Guys, I'm serious. I want to get a sandwich. I'm going. I, okay, I don't like that text. I'm deleting that one. I don't like that it says I drank an entire bottle of wine. And I'm removing the wine glass count, too. <laughs> Go make a sandwich. Getting a sandwich. Again. Where did my where's my game going? Getting a sandwich again. Need help making a sandwich? No, I don't need help making a sandwich. I'm not incompetent. I know how to get bread. Again, I love sand. Well, okay, this is again as in like last time I streamed, I went and got a sandwich. So I'm really good at making them. I don't believe you. You're right. That's kind of misleading. What sort of sandwich? Meow. Hi, Bojack. Um, also, hi, Sparrow. I never said hi. Um, peanut butter and jelly. I think. I don't know. I'm just gonna go wander upstairs, stand in my kitchen for like five minutes, and then probably make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Okay, so I did not get a sandwich. I got cereal. This was faster. I didn't feel like making a sandwich. 
Anyways, we need to do this so we can continue the our conquest. I'm turning on my heater because I'm tired. Cereal with no milk. There is milk! What the fuck? Why are you trying to slander me like this? There's literally milk in the bowl. I don't know what this is about. This blasphemous I see. So you believe that behavior. the letter was sent by the phantom weasel? You what? Absolutely. I've said it before and I'll say it again. The phantom weasel never acts as you expect. He must have faked his own death 10 years ago using a body double. Now that he's back, I'm sure the guards who worked on his case back in the day are in for a headache, but however this turns out in the end, the one thing it won't be is boring. I'm gonna crunch, crunch, crunch into the mic. I couldn't agree more. As a journalist, I'm gonna get a lot of mileage out of this one. Thank you, sir, for your time. Now, whom should I interview next? Milk first or cereal first? What a coincidence. Fancy meeting you Uh, here. cereal, because how will you know how much milk to pour Perfect. if you don't even know how much cereal so, you want to eat? The Phantom Weasel's latest warning Answer is bowl first. Mm, hands, actually. Let's pour it into your hands. Eat it like that. Yeah. This is the pump? Oh, oh, sorry. Well, not to worry. You're in good hands because uh, ten or so years ago, a phantom thief became active in the court of Fontaine. Known only as the Weasel. Nobody knew his true identity. Okay, so can you imagine becoming a thief him. and then people just call you the Weasel? Wow. I'd probably wow. kill myself. He sounds like one of those mysterious night that you read about novels. Precisely. Well, he would just as soon steal a necklace from a rich merchant's safe as he would a toy doll given to a commoner child for their birthday. Sounds like an absolute weirdo. Real. Rob the rich to pay the poor. I don't know, I've had worse nicknames than the weasel. Um, not exactly. There's a good chance that the weasel would still be Can I hear them? This day if it hadn't been for an I want to know. I want to know what they are. For just my current life. Mm. But don't, don't kill yourself, you're so hot. When the police went through his personal effects, they found a hoard of stolen loot and gadgets used for criminal activities. And that was how the Phantom Weasel's identity was revealed. Sure enough, thefts and Fontaine went down after Caesar's death. But today, ten years on... My bad. My bad. I would like to apologize for my words. ...and pasted it on the gate of the Opera Epicles for all to see. I had to squeeze through the crowd this morning to get a photo as soon as I heard. Here. It's Wait, what one. happened? I wasn't paying attention. Oh, it's like a ransom note. So, this is the warning letter, huh? Let's see what he wrote. Three days from now, when evening falls, I shall take from you that which you hold most dear at the Opera House. This is, without a doubt, a clear declaration of criminal intent. What once seemed like an open and shut case has been blown wide open again. But why has he re-emerged now? Uh-oh. If this thief will steal anything that other people value, does that mean even we might be targeted? Really? Oh, let him try. In fact... You heard Monica goes to her nose. You can't say that. That's rude. Okay, the people have spoken. It's clear that the public are very concerned about the Phantom Weasels. Let's see. I've got a photo of the letter. My hey, look, it's Lenny. Yep. Why is he doing like street magic? But then he also performs in opera houses. Missing though. Something exclusive. Exclusive. What whore? More concrete connection to the Weasel. Hmm. Is that who I think it is? No. Lenny. Magic, magician, Caesar, <gasps> the Phantom Weasel. That's it. Let's go interview Lenny. You can't just say a bunch of words in a row and pretend they mean anything. You see, the original Phantom Thief Caesar was a magician. You can't do that. And what do Phantom Thieves and magicians? It does not go through her nose. They what are you talking about? Of mystery about them. Perhaps there's a connection there. Are you serious? What sort of a deduction is that? Oh, relax. My journalistic instinct tells me that an exclusive news story is beckoning. Let's go. No time for delay. Interesting. So is she still... busy with this quest? No! Why is that one... Hmm. <laughs> this game is... This game is an L. 
What's up, Pliny? Wow, Mr. Magician! How did you know which card I picked? Oh, it's simple. <laughs> Come closer and I'll let you in on Oh my god, Predator! 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 Child, that's a Get away from that child! Get away from him! Predator! 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 What am I thinking now? Well, first you need to relax. Because I can see that you're clenching your fist in your mind, as if to say, no, I mustn't let him guess it. Aww. This is dumb. And now you're getting a little flustered. You're trying to find a way to empty your mind, to think of nothing at all. But the more you try to hide a secret, the easier it'll come out. You snuck out Fucking from predator. today, didn't you? You told your family a little lie so you could come out and play. Now, now, that's not a good habit. Y you can tell? Uh, oh boy, you really can read my mind. He's a stalker! Oh my god! Oh, and that's the end of my performance. You should really- uh, Alright, got it. Dude, stalker, predator. Why, hello. We meet again. Are you looking for me? What's the situation? Well, bum 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 on. What's the sitch? Oh, please. You didn't believe that spiel, did you? The power of telepathy is quite beyond me. I'm sure that child would beg to differ. Seems like that was nothing more than a little trickery. I made an educated guess based on his micro expressions. Don't that don't pretend you're smart. Stop pretending you're smart. Here without his parents, and he looked as guilty as sin. You guys, on the other hand, hmm. Let me guess. Uh, don't tell me you're here for the Phantom Weasel, are you? Wow. Even Is this more of your trickery, Edward? Wait, really? <laughs> no, his warning letter's been the talk of the town. Bingo! I plan on writing a column with Selene. What are your thoughts on this infamous thief? Hmm. Angry? Why? You read his letter, right? The Phantom Weasel claims he's planning. Huh. Where is he? <gasps> Wait a minute, you don't think. Well, if he is, then his warning is clearly a direct challenge to me personally. And if he's not, then it's still. Your head is massive, buddy. For me. It's all hidden the in that mention hat. Of the weasel's name is enough to scare people off. We gotta get Chris so Hansen in here for real. That letter get out. Barely anyone will be showing up to watch. But I've been preparing for this for a long time. I'm See the bear tattoo under his my big tear tattoo. This He's in some serious shit. One I know. I have to expose the phantom weasel's identity before the show begins. Really? So what you're saying is, we might. They, they don't just. Lie. Not just everyone has that. Magician and an infamous thief. Wow. More like spirit. <laughs> to be honest, spirit I'm fair. not sure if I'll emerge the victor. The phantom weasel is an attorney. Ferrets are cute, though. Infamous Weasels are kind of mean. Methods. You're being far too modest, Linny. I think your magic tricks are even more. Thanks for the compliment, though. I a lot of people liken magicians to thieves because we both have the ability to make things disappear without the person noticing. Allow me to demonstrate with a quick magic trick. Here, I have a flower. Just an ordinary flower that was picked not long ago. Weasels are bitey. My phantoms, now. unlike ghosts, Three, don't exist. Two, one. What's the difference? <gasps> it's gone! That's the question. Therein lies the difference between us. Thieves make precious things disappear, but only magicians make them reappear. But you just made it disappear, you lying whore. You all to check your clothes, He's such a slut. There might be a you can just tell. Wait, how old is he? Mm, maybe we shouldn't have said that, guys. Um, okay, I'm just gonna do a little age check real quick. How old is Linny? Unknown. Mm, 18 to 21. I sure hope so. Called a minor whore. It's right there, but I did not call a minor a whore. I called Linny a whore. What an outstanding trick! Okay, he just touched Sorry, her chest. Clearly. Was... Don't worry, I didn't take offense. I just wanted to take the opportunity to. He he's an adult. Some of the he is. Notions he may not look like magicians. one, but that's just because he's a twink. Since Caesar's death, a lot of people associate magicians with criminality. 
It can be quite frustrating. I can imagine. Um, coming back to your trick just now, might I presume that you are well versed? For example, magicians often use rainbow roses in their flower related performances to represent passion and romantic encounters. But Thank you, I agree. Mimi do spell, which, if I'm not mistaken, allude to impressive knowledge. It's no wonder you're such a successful journalist. But I'm afraid I don't know the first thing. They need to stop sucking symptoms. each other's dicks. I'm just in the habit of getting boring. Do spells in my magic. It sounds like something I should look into, though. Hmm. I'll buy myself. Well noted. In that case, this brings us to the end of our interview. Please feel free to get in touch if there's nothing else. Uh, I'll be off. You've given me lots to work with here, and I've got no time to lose if I want to write that exclusive piece. I'll see you all later. So, Nanny, are you gonna tell us how you did that flower? God, she's around? finally gone. <laughs> I'm afraid that's my little secret. Aww. Well, magicians are entitled to their secrets. He's a predator, 100%. No. No, I don't feel itchy. That's just you, Paimon. <laughs> Not so itchy then, huh? Well, since you're so concerned, how would you like to serve as my temporary okay, my mic assistance and help me investigate? Has these like magician's assistance? Oh, you should put something on Paimon to be itchy. It has like these little like hook things on the on the mic arm and my headphones keep getting caught in it it's really pissing me off who wants to join my world okay well you know what it's too late to look into is who caesar really was if he truly was the phantom weasel that means that the weasel is dead and whoever wrote this warning letter is just a copycat criminal but real if he wasn't the weasel hmm. well that'll make things more interesting it would mean that the weasel lives and he's been laying low all this time in some corner of Fontaine. And if we're investigating Caesar, his fiancée Gemma is a good place to start. Word is that she visits the cemetery often, so I asked Lynette to wait for her there. We should make a move. Let's go and rendezvous with Lynette. No. Just kidding, sure. scenery is wonderful. Surely enough to convince anyone to become a wanderer. Okay. There we go. Wait, no, no, I can do this one now, right? Yeah, I can. Naya? No. Your roots are showing? Mm. I don't know what you're talking about. My hair is naturally this blonde and beautiful. Damn, you're on it, I'm not. Mm, really? <laughs> Was that not you trying to join? <laughs> That's a first, damn. Hi, Doji. Um, send me $200 and I'll go get my roots done. Very expensive. Nope, not just me. I, not me. I just woke you up. Same! Thinking something over? You dyed your eyebrows? Yes, no, I didn't. I did send someone to fetch you. But as for what I'd like to discuss next, well, I still have some reservations. So you told them the to fetch us and bring us pass. here. But then you don't even know if you want to talk to us. I do indeed have something I'd like to ask you to do. However, 
You should wait until after I tell you the details, then decide for yourselves whether you'd like to help or not. The situation is this. It has come to my attention that the Snezhnayan harbinger known as the Ney wants a diplomatic meeting with you, correct? That's the one girl, right? Yeah. I heard that she was originally from Fontaine, but for her to suddenly arrive here and abruptly request such a meeting like this, I sincerely advise you to refuse her invitation outright. Hmm. I'm sure you're aware that her purpose is most likely related to Child's recent predicament. We convicted one of the Snezhnayan Harbingers in a court of law. He looks kind of pretty too. True, he's so baby girl, I told you. This does indeed provide an opportunity for Snezhnaya to put pressure on us. I believe we should adopt an evasive stance until we can provide a proper explanation and have a preliminary plan on how to deal with the matter. No, we shouldn't. I think we should agree to the meeting. What? Why? <laughs> well, you see, we are the ones that owe an explanation. You have no explanation. Your machine is stupid. Let free my boy. The result in the problem escalating, right? It's like like a fight between two friends if they don't agree to see she's like the dumbest archon i've ever met isn't it possible that the friendship could end entirely though diplomatic relations between fontaine and snezhnaya could be considered as friendly it is only superficially so you wouldn't go so far as to say that our nations are friends as you did in your example yeah no one's friends with snezhnaya <laughs> it was just an bendy was kind of an analogy, okay? Yeah, but he's at least like, like he asks them, but he's not like he's not like her. Like I don't know, she just she just mm, I don't know. Not my favorite archon. She might be dumb, but she cute. She is cute. She has a really cute design, but. Moreover, even if we were to talk in person, if we don't have sufficient information prepared. It is quite possible the result wouldn't be restored relations. But a complete falling out. Yeah, they don't have any explanation. He didn't do anything wrong. They have no evidence of anything. They're just like, oh yeah, our machine said he's guilty. So he's guilty. Not a huge fan of the hat. Mm. Oh, was he had a shit memory? Yeah, but he's old and wise. Like, I mean, come on. Come on, guys. We're not, we're not actually trying to put her above the other archons now. Mm. I don't think we should overthink those possibilities yet. Ahem. Even if the logic of the divine is not immediately apparent, its wisdom will only be revealed with time. Besides, you'll be at the meeting. Why are her? If any problems do pop up, why do her eyelashes have like circles on them? <laughs> okay, you're relying too heavily on this guy. This poor guy. Her hat is too big and too small at the same time. Yeah, it's not one of those cute little hats and it's not like a regular sized one either. It's just like awkwardly in the middle. I must clarify that interacting and communicating with people outside of court is not my cup of tea. It seems you think too much of me. But more importantly, when did I agree to join the meeting with you? <laughs> you mean you won't come? No, 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 that, that won't do. <laughs> What was that noise she made? <laughs> what a weirdo. Lady Farina, could there be something else regarding this matter that is being kept from me? That noise broke me. No, not at all. Look, what did she just do there? Hydro Archon of Fontaine, Fosalor, the god of justice who is loved and adored by many. So I only hope that justice will be served in this matter. Don't overthink it. I'll go find someone to arrange the meeting. Oh. Uh. Oh, we're just gonna jump straight to the meeting. Though it could officially be considered a diplomatic conference, I prefer to see our meeting today as an ordinary tea party. Tea party? There's three of them and two of them uh, hate each other. I assume you see it the same way, Miss Farina? Why is her- oh my god, what happened to her eyeball? <gasps> she's so- okay, hold on. Okay, guys, she's quite- 
Lady Farina? But both of her eyeballs are crosses. What happened to her eyes? <gasps> She's taking all my money? Not the right Tommy Mommy vibes, though. What happened to her eyeballs? They're after. I should thank you for providing the pastries. They look delectable. I. This is so awkward. To make this tea party even more like. They're sitting so far away from each other. Invited someone else to join us today. It's a pleasure to meet you, Monsieur Nuvillet. I was born in Fontaine, so naturally there's no need to introduce the nation's revered Udex to me. Hello. The pleasure is also mine. Why does everyone have weird eyeballs? <laughs> First, I would like to thank the two of you. I'm often away on business outside of Fontaine, and I'm told that the children of the House of the Heart they are comically well big. taken care of by you. Have, like, why, what happened to her eyes? Why do they look like that? She's like, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't do anything here. She doesn't do shit. I'm not referring to when my children, Linny and Lynette, were falsely accused by you. Please don't misunderstand. So they falsely accused Linny and Lynette and then child? Oh my god! Okay, guys, come on. You're you're messing up big here. The children of the House of the Hearth are often misunderstood. Perhaps due to the reputation of the Fatui. There's a lot going on There's here. There's no getting around that. All I meant to say is that Fontaine has been stable in recent years. The people are well off and the children lead happy, fulfilled lives. That is something truly worth Until cherishing. they drown, because it no is going to sink. to disrupt such peace. Okay, she's crazy. Now then, you have come regarding the matter of child, correct? Well, yes. It appears the ever-busy Udex Nuvillette doesn't wish to waste time with diplomatic pleasantries and hopes that we can get straight to the point of our talk. Wait, what's her rank again? It said eleven. I thought it said eleven, but that doesn't make sense. So, who is this guy, Piero? Whoever the hell that is. Skarmush. Posture check? Fuck you. Red eyes. Sierra. Childs. Oh! Okay, so some of them don't have an order. How many are there, though? Okay, so she's gotta be like. Wait, we do know her order. They just they just gave me the number and I wasn't paying attention. Wait. <laughs> Did anyone remember? Does anyone remember? Did they say 7th? Hold on, what's your name? Wait, what was her name? Arlichina? Ar Arli to your rank. We should know now! We should know as of today. Why is no one written it down? I wasn't paying attention! Oh no. Oh no. Hold on, I bet someone's posted it to YouTube already. Do 
The fourth. The fourth. It said the fourth. It said the fourth, right? It said the fourth? Hold on, someone posted it. Someone posted the video already. The fourth! Oh, so she's really high rank. Oh no. Oh no. That sounds good. Oh no. Yes, as you surmised. Damn, she's higher than I thought she was gonna be. Is indeed one of the goals of this trip. As we are both diplomats from Snezhnaya, as well as Fatui Harbingers, Child and I have always been colleagues. Were anything to happen in Fontaine, each of us would serve as the other's attorney to resolve the issue. So now, in my capacity as his attorney, I request that Child be turned over to Snezhnaya. We have a responsibility to cooperate with Fontaine. Why are her as nails, like, happened, through her gloves? What the hell is that? Look at what, like, what are her nails, like, through her glove? What? The rules governing attorneys are not gloves. Before a trial has concluded. Since a verdict has already been rendered, we see the case as settled. I apologize for being unable to grant your request. An outright refusal. Very well. I don't I respect their court the at all Fontaine's in the slightest. As I respect you Zero as respect for justice. their court. Okay, why don't we back up a step? You don't need to transfer child to us. I only request to enter the fortress of Meripede to see child and confirm his condition. It's not like you couldn't even manage to fulfill a simple request like that. Right, Miss Farina? Uh, um, Are you winning? Uh, I don't know anymore. The fortress of Meripede has always been completely autonomous. Even we have no authority to interfere there. What on earth is this like? Not suffice as an excuse. System they have in place. This country is a joke. Oh my god! I'm, oh my god! However, if you absolutely must confirm the situation of the harbinger, I have a proposal. The knave showed up already. Well, Linny did say that Father will be returning soon. We didn't even know that Linny was from the House of the Hearth at the time, so we kind of... Why is VIP? Do you want VIP? I'll give you VIP. <laughs> yes, thank you for your kind advice. I'm well aware of the situation. I also noticed that Lady Farina acts a little odd and unnatural whenever I bring up matters related to the knave. And first, true. Congratulations. Could the knave be threatening Lady Farina or something? If that were the case, then why wouldn't Lady Farina inform me? And what means could the knave possibly have to twist the arm of an archon? What is me? You'll have to redeem and find out. I can't just spoil it. In reality, this problem is even more thorny than it appears. According to reports from the fortress of Meripede, Child recently disappeared under mysterious circumstances. What? He <laughs> he just disappeared? The details are still unclear. We cannot rule out an escape, but there have also been no reports of him outside of the fortress of Meripede. Special oh my god! This forces. country is a its joke! Its systems are extensive. Combined with the special characteristics of the surrounding terrain, an escape should not be possible. I suspect that there's something else behind Child's disappearance. I was only willing to share this information with you because you are friends of Child, and it is my duty to see justice done. So this is what you wanted to see us about before? Yes. I would like you to go to the Fortress of Meripede and investigate- So we can go, but no one else can go? This was my proposal during our meeting with the Knave. Rather than allowing her to intervene, I offered to send someone to find out about oh. Child's situation and report back to her in detail. Okay. The Knave did not seem satisfied by my proposal, but she still agreed to go along with it for the time being. Her words were, We will talk more once we have that report. So I love how their mouths don't line up with the content, the talking at all. Firstly, you're already acquainted with Child. Your eyes may discern relevant details there. That I scored a drop. Is. How? On my own stream? Hell yeah. I love that for me. It's probably a, a Genshin and drop. Secondly, 
is the consideration of the unique nature of the force. I did too. Mirapede. High five. Isn't it just Fontaine's prison? I would not define it so crudely. The fortress of Meripede is not affiliated with the court system of Fontaine on paper. What is it going this country is a sick joke. Entity. Early in Fontaine's history, criminals were punished with exile, not imprisonment. Even today, sentences against convicted criminals still include exile, just as before. The fortress of Meripede may seem like a prison, but it should in fact be regarded as a gathering place for exiles. All we do is dispatch guards to keep watch and help maintain security, but we have no right to get involved with any other matters. Although I do have a personal relationship with the administrator there, neither myself nor the courts have the right to be directly involved with the investigation, no matter how serious the ground This is stupid. This country is stupid. I hate Fontaine. I want to redeem me, but I don't care. Yeah, let's save the points. Correct. I will arrange false charges against you so that you may secretly investigate inside the fortress during your detention. Oh. This will save us a lot of unnecessary trouble. So, are you two willing to accept my proposal? Child is my friend! No matter how you look at it, it seems we're the best choice. All right, we have so, okay, in every single uh, <laughs> country we've been in, we've either been... We've either been on the run from the law enforcement or sent to prison. <laughs> you two have my sincere thanks. This matter is of critical importance to Fontaine's current situation. Also, I hope that both of you can keep this operation a secret. I can. Paimon's got a big mouth. We will rendezvous with the Fortress of Meripede's entrance on Erinaeus once you've prepared yourselves. I will arrange for someone to take you inside. Prepared ourselves? Uh... Is there something we need to prepare? Perhaps you could enjoy a good meal and have a nice bath. I'm afraid that living conditions inside oh my God. The are nothing like those on the outside world. <laughs> this sounds horrible. Right. Even though we'll be there on trumped up charges, we'll be in prison for real. Uh, on second thought, is it too late to back out? Please do not worry. Since you are sacrificing both your time and quality of life for the sake of delivery, please, you better report, compensate us. You will be compensated according to the highest. Oh, good. I want a lot of stuff, money. Regardless of the outcome. Now that's more like it. Come on, traveler, let's go eat the best meal we can find. We'll eat so much that we won't need to eat another meal for a whole month. Your treat. Tens is a demon on mobile. Anyone's a demon on mobile. Mobile isn't hard. Okay, it doesn't help that the people he's playing against are, like, stupid. I don't know. <laughs> okay, what? How? <laughs> That's crazy. Are you leaving now? In that case, please take this cake as a token of my personal That's gratitude. the one that she brought. Yay! We got cake. We got cake. I'm so happy. I'm so happy I got some cake. We better eat it before we go to prison. <laughs> Investigate in prison. Oh, someone's taking a picture of us. <gasps> oh, what 
Is that oh, it's her. Is it the taste of a breaking story? Hey, you can't hear a taste. <laughs> what are you doing here, Charlotte? Oh, don't remind me. I invited an eyewitness to a case to eat here. I was planning to get some great material out of him, but he didn't even show up. Ah, oh, calm down, calm down. This is nothing new. As a journalist, you should be used to this by now. As long as you can score some juicy tidbits from the traveler, you might still be able to recover the cost of the meal. Uh, you know we can still hear you. Charlotte. Don't say juicy tidbits when you're talking about me. <laughs> Never mind. It's nothing. I just heard you mention the Don't do that. American. Don't do that shit ever again. You didn't commit a crime, did you? Please tell me all about it. I told you she has a big fat mouth. Huh? I'm sad. You're being arrested for that? Oh. But now that I think about it, I Congrats. That's not completely unreasonable. That's pretty despicable, almost as offensive as committing theft. Oh, it might have been gifted. Oh no, four months. I don't know. It ends in five days. Oh, you mean Paima really did something that serious? Sorry, Paima really messed up. Well, in that case, it's nothing particularly newsworthy after all. Oh, how disappointing. All right, there's still a chance. Uh, since you're going to be at the Fortress of Miripede, would you be willing to help me gather some material for a story? No. Um, about that, uh, Paima doesn't think we'll have any time. Oh, it's nothing difficult. All you have to do is think of a way to get some time face to face with the Warden of the Fortress. He was awarded the honorary title of Duke in Fontaine. Sounds really cool, huh? Only those who have made significant contributions to the nation have been conferred this title. It's incredibly rare. On top of that, the Fortress of Meripede has never been under the jurisdiction of the courts. Practically nobody, including journalists like me, knows anything about the person in charge there. Oh, if I could write an exclusive article about him, I bet it would sell a boatload of papers. You make it sound easy, but it really depends. Of course. I wouldn't ask you to do it for free. So this meal is on me. All right, you got it. She's a journalist, no way. <laughs> then it's settled. The food should be here any second, right? Huh? Yeah, I was gonna say, you don't make enough for that. They're so casual about this. Yeah, I was gonna say, you're a little too casual there, Paimon. Here. This isn't the fortress. This isn't a fortress. This is the court. Oh, wait, is it? Maybe it is. No, this is the opera. I was right. Okay. So, wait. We go around. Oh, we do go around. Okay. This doesn't look like a fortress. Is it under there? Oh, oh, don't fall. Hold on. I'm gonna get Kazuha. I just wanna. Okay, this is weird. Come, just as promised. Yes, this is the one and only entrance to the fortress of Meripede from Erinaeus. So is it underground then? 
Careful. You may want to step back a bit. Oh, ah, it is. From here? Is the prison underwater? Utilizing both the barrier of the water as well as the fear humans have of the depths, the fortress of Meripede is naturally the perfect place to oh confine Oh my god, it's so dark. But do not worry. It is not nearly as frightening inside as you may think. You will see for yourselves. You better have uh, heaters. You're right. Don't know about you, but just thinking about being at the bottom of the sea like that gets kind of the heebie jeebies. Yeah, how does anyone escape from a prison that's underwater? Ain't no way. Oh, there's one more thing. I mentioned that I have had personal dealings with the administrator of the fortress, Ridesley. He's a very he's the ad fellow. He's the administrator, but he's not the warden. Yeah, we heard about him too. He's oh, he is. Duke, right? Correct. He is the highest ranking manager of the underwater prison. I'm sure she'll be fine. You, know you are going there to investigate at my behest. It would behoove you to avoid any confrontation with him or any of his subordinates. But we have to talk to him for Charlotte, buddy. I don't know what to tell you. We're making too many deals here. Let me can kill gods. Yeah. I've thought about it. Y you know. She really has nothing to fear ever anymore. The Duke rarely ever leaves the fortress of Meripede. But that does not mean he is not privy to all that is happening inside and outside the fortress. He is quiet, but not unaware. So please bear that in mind. Man, I would hate to be underwater all the time. Like, he just, like, never leaves. That's crazy. Hold on. It's about all the time that we have to talk privately. I'm counting on you two. Madeline. I'm here, Monsieur Nervalet. These two are the newest convicts, I presume? <laughs> Don't worry, they won't escape on my watch. It's just like one guard? Dude, <laughs> we kill gods and you're just like, no, yeah, I got this. <laughs> Please follow me, you two. I'll process your paperwork for entering the fortress of Meripede. You didn't need to tell me that. If I'm a prisoner, like, I don't, that's not a concern of mine. Wait, what? Involvement in other quests. Current quest. To stars shining in the depth. Containing the current quest may cause parts of the following quest to become occupied. Progress cannot be made on occupied quests. What does that even mean? Okay, I don't care. I don't care about my other quests. Wait, which one did they say was? None of these look like the one that they said. Was it this one? No. Oh, well, this is the one we're on. Oh, is it? You know what, whatever. I don't even care. Whoa! Ride the lift. This is so casual. Taking us to prison is so casual. 
I'll get it within the year. I believe in you. I'm kind of scared. I'm a little bit scared. Are you already underwater now? Yes, obviously, Paimon. Shut ah, up. So this is what it feels like to be a criminal in Fontaine. Shut up! You two seem to be taking this pretty well. It's rare to see convicts in such a good mood. The way they treat convicts is so weird. Weird. Expect you to walk into this person, right? Like they're so casual about this. Okay, this is not a good-looking place. I got lied to. I got fucking scammed. Hold on, hold on. I'll be there in a minute. I'll be in my cell in a minute. Let me just walk around for a bit, looking for <laughs> shit. These are the guards. Yeah, I can kick your ass. You don't even have a weapon. Am I- I'm just going to the front desk of prison? Yeah, hi, I'd like to check in for, uh, two, please. Like, what's going on here? Oh, okay, I-, I... <sighs> Oh, it's you, Madeline. Why'd they make you make the trip down here today? This is so weird. Sure Nervalet personally requested I escort these two convicts. This isn't how. Mm, we're not even handcuffed. Not They're not even trying. <laughs> is she like? Well, <laughs> I don't know. Aren't you the lucky one? Must be nice to be on good terms with the big shots like the Chief Justice. The only people I get to see every day are the new inmates. Okay, this is crazy. Handcuffed, sus. It's like putting Superman in handcuffs. Why try? Right, but uh, this is just so silly. Well, have you tried service with a smile? Who knows? It might help your professional reputation. You're not smiling either, <laughs> bitch. Yeah, right. As if. Hi, Lynx. Every criminal comes through here looking miserable. How can I smile with such a toxic work environment? So real for that. Honestly, work-life balance is not there for you. And even if I did smile at the night, receptionist the at a probably just think that I'm at a prison. Twisted and Prisons don't have receptionists. <laughs> Can you imagine going to prison? You walk into the front desk. Hi, yeah. Uh, for two, please. <laughs> I came for this in exchange for fighting too many guys and treating the whole conviction like as a role play game. She's just like laughing in her head like this is so fun well like this is so silly you. you two will register here and Moret will guide you through the remaining procedures <sighs> yep i'll take it from here I'm like you in sweden yeah <laughs> any world above <laughs> or like somewhere where there's like no crime and they don't really know what to do when someone comes to prison they're like oh wait someone's actually gonna be here um hey have a seat. Can I get you anything to drink? <laughs> okay. And then they well, work here and they're just like stuck underground all the time. Who would want to work there? And Paimon, correct? They're just leaving us. <laughs> this is the dumbest prison. Oh my god. <laughs> Let me confirm your charges and sentence. Let's see. You oh my two god, are charged with this is insane. Eating a cake specially prepared for the Archon by a Snezhnayan envoy without the Archon's permission, thereby incapacitating the political center of Fontaine for a brief period. Sentence, 45 days? Huh? Wait, you mean the cake that Nervala gave us was... Just looking at the charges, it seems you two are capable of causing some serious trouble. And considering how fond Lady Furina is of sweets, this crime is tantamount to trying to assassinate the Hydro Archon Hurst. Now I've seen everything. <laughs> anyway, we still need to finish processing- I've encountered more security at a minute. Real! <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure- Okay, American schools have more security than this. Amer like, going to a public school... Like, I feel more threatened than this prison. Please stand in front of the board over there. I'll take your mug shots with my camera. Oh, all right. But be sure to catch Paimon's good side. They're just like, let's just take your photo now. 
Oh hell yeah, we get a mug shot, that's so cool. Great mug shots. It's just like people standing around. This place is a joke. I love it. And we're done. Thank you for your cooperation. Next, someone will be along to guide you inside the fortress. Please be sure to cherish this opportunity for rebirth. Huh? Rebirth? Isn't that a little much? Being angry. We're gonna be here for 45 days. Damn real. You two are the new inmates, right? Follow me. Oh, okay. Paimon is Paimon, and this is this person is so casual. Save it. Not like I'll remember your names. Move it. You are not a threat to me. None of you are threatening at all. <laughs> they don't even. Okay, and we're just gonna be on like a little boat. Take it on a little boat. They could at least pretend to like. Oh, you know what? It's okay. It's fine. I'm convinced every single game de developer for Genshin doesn't know anything about prison. So when they were writing this, they're like, uh, so I, I guess they'll take so, mug shots, right? You one of the guards here? Um, they'll check um, in, obviously, <laughs> at the prison. I've been more scared of it. It's a small part of it. Oh, he's just not gonna talk to us. Uh, did already Why should I tell you anything? What's in it for me? Oh my god, they're already taking bribes. That's crazy. <sighs> this is exactly why I can't stand new fish. I wouldn't even be doing this if it weren't for the credit coupons. That would be cool. I want those mug shots. I want credit them. Coupons. I want them in my inventory. I want to look at them all the time. All right. Seeing as you're not the annoying kind that's getting dragged in here crying and blubbering, I guess I can tell you a few things. You're working for the time, <laughs> It'll cost you some coupons. Mora means nothing here. Here, we use credit coupons. Coupons can get in the drop same in the fortress of Meripede. Desires fulfilled. You want power? No problem. Coupons can even change fate itself. So, credit coupons are a currency that can only be used here? It's not as simple as that. Like Moret said, everyone gets a chance at rebirth. No matter how much money or power you had before. I'm going to rest my birthday cake. Okay? Was your birthday? You set foot inside the fortress of Meripede. You have to start over and earn your coupons. Everyone starts from the same. Even the place, prisoners? And you have a chance at a Yes, yeah, my birthday. It is today? Life. Are you lying? You better not be lying cuz if you're lying and I say happy birthday, that's really embarrassing. I guess that's the real purpose of the coupons. They symbolize true fairness and true justice. And this is also exactly why so many criminals choose not to return to the outside world even after they've served their sentence. So they just become rich in this prison and they're like, ah, I guess I'll just stick around. I already made some sing today. I've had my fill. Happy birthday! Happy birthday, Sparrow. That's all I'll say. That's all I say. That's all I'll say. That's all I'll say. Since you've had your fill, I'll say happy birthday, Sparrow. Okay, so this prison is... So I know you can earn money in prison. Very, very little. But you can earn money in prison. But so the criminals, they get out of prison and they're like, I don't want to leave. <laughs> they, they just start working there still. Oh, so that's what the fortress of Maripita is like. Huh. Paimon was under the impression that it'd be more like a prison. It certainly ain't all sunshine and roses here. But it's also not the worst place to be. You'd better take a good look at the scenery now. It'll be the last chance you get for a while. After being away from the sunlight for so long, even the terrifying depths of the sea start to feel like home. It just stops feeling oppressive, you know? Oh, I'm actually an inmate like you two. Welcoming newcomers is a job I've picked up to earn some extra coupons. I don't understand. What is happening? What is this? This isn't a prison. 
This isn't what prisons are. Okay, you know what? It's fine. Uh, why aren't you answering us again? I've told you enough for free. Any more info is gonna cost you. You yeah, have out a knuckle sandwich. Pa. Can we just beat people you up and steal their lunch money? Wait, no. Coupons? Almost there. It's down through here. Your turn to give it a try. Some form center the devs could imagine. Real! Like, what is this place? Oh my god. This place is weird as hell. Oh my god. Where do they want me to go? Here? Ooh. Scary. Look at their dogs. Oh, who's a good boy? Okay. Hey, can I work here? Follow the wind. What am I doing? Oh, I see. Humanities is not evilness. These devs have like just sunshine and rainbows in their heads, clearly. This is the scariest prison they could come up with. <laughs> I was expecting it to be a lot worse. So, we're going even deeper now? Just how deep down are we? It's like a metaphor for your previous life, isn't it? No. Uh, our lives weren't that bad. Our lives are great. I could kill you, Deacon. I could fucking kill you. Okay. You better watch it. Um. Okay. So this is the actual entrance to the fortress of Meribid? Huh. It looks like there are other new arrivals too. Oh, they sure don't look happy. Uh, maybe we look too relaxed for fresh convicts. Oh, right. We're on someone else's territory now. Uh, we need to think of a good way to act like criminals to get by. If we're discovered, even Nevelet might not be able to rescue us. Get out of here! Kick his ass, kick his ass, kick his ass. Uh, look, I don't really know you, and I have no idea what kind of crime you committed, but you wouldn't have happened to anger someone important, did you? Uh, someone yeah, Farina. Hmm, doesn't think so. Uh, wait, why are you suddenly trying to talk to us now? Now's not the time to worry about that. Anyway, it's over there, so... You just go on over there by yourselves. I've done my job, so good luck. What was that all about? Uh, it sounds like he's reading from a script, but like a really shitty script. No. Prisoners numbers 7459 and 7560. Welcome. Oh, no need to be anxious. These guard mechs aren't here to attack you. In fact, they're here as your honor guard. Why are his legs like this? What's wrong? Why did... He's like wearing a tie. When I heard that you were friends of Monsieur Neuvelet, I had the guard mechs come and wait in formation. Okay. Wait, you know about our connection with Neuvelet? The seafloor isn't as cut off from the world as you might imagine. However, I'm afraid that I know nothing more than that you are friends of the Udex. And as you can see, committing a crime means being sentenced here. 
even if you're friends with the Chief Justice. The, the Duke, uh, greetings, Your Grace. L lovely weather today, isn't it? Can I punch him now? Bah, knuckle sandwich to the face. I told you I love sandwiches. I love a good knuckle sandwich. A pa. Look at this guy, though. He's not what I remember him looking like from the photos, but like, why is he so skinny in the waist? He's a skinny legend. Honestly, I like it. Solid eight, seven. Oh, greetings, my good fellow. Well, I'm willing to imagine that the weather is as why would the, the why would the warden just be walking around? <laughs> ah, how great it would have been if only the fortress of Meripede had been built on the coast, huh? Yeah. It would have been so convenient to enjoy a nice chat in the sunshine. Ah, my profuse apologies. I just got so nervous when I saw you. I... So this is the Duke. He sure looks a lot younger than Paimon imagined. The Traveler and Paimon, correct? Mr. Deacon here was responsible for your welcome. I trust you were satisfied with his guidance? No, he was an ass. He was a piece of shit. Ah, I see. In that case, I regret to announce that Deacon here has just missed the best opportunity in his Yes! Ah, I hate this guy! Screw you! <laughs> I, uh, I admit that I was only thinking about the coupons. I'm sorry to have disappointed you, Your Grace. Uh, I originally... I once hoped for a chance to do some higher level work. I had no idea you two were big shots who were worthy of speaking with His Grace. Losing out on such a big opportunity because I couldn't see How come everyone wears their knows. coats like this in this game? Like, that's not how jackets work. Plenty of time ahead, It's Deacon. not a cape. There'll be more opportunities. Well, I believe that concludes the introductions. We've Hell yeah. We've taken enough time here. Deacon, if you would. Yes, your grace. I'll take my leave now. Bye, beach. Fuck you. Get out of here. Follow me. To make you feel more welcome, I'll show you around the various facilities. We're prisoners. You're going to just casually show me around? What is this place? What? <laughs> He's going to personally give us a cure? Huh. No wonder Charlotte's so interested in him. He's one of those mysterious types. All right, let's keep up with this him. This is weird as hell. I love this music, though. I feel like I'm watching Batman. There are leaves around, and I know just the tune to accompany them, if you wish to hear it. A viewpoint. This is a print. Okay. Alrighty then. Oh my god, there's like a cafe here. Oh my god. There's no need to be so reserved. The label of criminal is nothing but one of many identities. And being criminally inclined. So if there's just like a crazy homicidal maniac that's just survive. pure evil, they send him down here and they're like, you want to have like a nice stop at the cafe? Well, then maybe you'll be able to carve out a name and a place for yourselves in this underwater world, hmm? But before you go in swinging, please remember that in the fortress of Merit, He's Maripedis, like all scarred up. What happened, buddy? trouble for yourself or for the guards. Now, we've arrived at a very important place. The Coupon Cafeteria. You can come here and claim one welfare meal each day. One? I get one meal a day? Okay, never mind. This is prison. Oh my god. Welfare meal? You mean it doesn't cost anything? That's right. Oh. Those are essential to fortress operations. So, we must guarantee that they at least have the basic means to survive. Oh, but we can buy more. Okay. <laughs> but that's not how it was. Back in the day, it cost your reward coupons just to get a cup of water here. For fish like you who just arrived with nothing. You have to go to work hungry until you earned enough coupons. Oh my god, okay, now that's that's what I expected. 
That's what I was expecting. After his grace became the administrator that we got the free meal rule. Now everyone Thank God. Gets a meal every day. Even no good slackers who've never picked up a wrench in their whole lives. Nobody starves to death here. In the fortress of Maripede, credit coupons are the only currency, and everything must be purchased. In some sense, you could say using the coupons is a form of trade. But trade is always conducted by people. So if we want trade here to prosper, we need everyone to work hard and live their lives. If nobody could even afford a meal, then the whole fortress would be up in arms. Is this communism? That would only make things more difficult for me. So, rather than saying that we're giving everyone a free meal here, you should say that everyone's hard work has improved the living conditions in the fortress. He's of so America. casual about like just walking around down here. Your grace's reasoning is correct, but what I said is also true. Whatever the case, hard work is rewarded here. You'd be hard pressed to find anywhere else as fair and reasonable. Great! I don't see your point. By that logic, this place doesn't seem so bad after all. Oh, wait, no. We should have dropped our guard so quickly. You're the one talking, not me. Seems the inmates really respect the Duke because of his attitude, right? Uh, let's continue this way. I'm suspicious. I have no idea how to say his name. I'm not even gonna try. I need to hear someone say it a bunch of more times before I'll know. Okay, where the hell am I? Oh, this is where I need to be. This place is known as the Pancration Ring. Can we fight? Sometimes we have criminals who have more energy than they know what to do with. Their daily work alone. They is they enough. encourage no. fighting among hardened criminals. It's crazy. So, instead of leaving them to their own devices, we've provided them with this dedicated venue. This way, nobody will get involved unless they want to be. Pancreation matches? And you can earn extra coupons? Oh, what do you think? That's sure, I could kick anyone's ass. But I must warn you that your sentence will be extended if you fail to restrain yourself and end up Ooh. seriously injuring or killing your opponent. So, did you set this place up too? No, actually. I just granted approval for the organizer to use this area to build the ring, and I collect a portion of the proceeds in return. Of course, the fees are also quite useful. Oh. Do you mind if we ask what they're used for? Sure. Ensuring personal safety, maintaining the arena, and resolving any conflicts that arise. Why? Are you interested in how to manage a pancreation ring? Oh, no, no. I'm always just wondering if that's how you paid for everyone's welfare meal. A reasonable guess. I see you have a talent for entrepreneurship. No, she just likes food. You that? Paimon has a talent. So we can start a business here? That is something you can discuss between yourselves later. Let's move on for now. Okay, this is weird. This place is so weird. This is like, this just doesn't feel like a prison. I don't know. I just, I don't feel like, I don't feel like being here. I don't feel like I'm learning my lesson as a criminal. <laughs> the dormitories. We're going to our dorm. They're not even called cells. <laughs> we get to go to a dorm. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> This place is crazy. Higher? Wait, what? Did I miss the stairs? So what is this? I think I was right the first time. Or maybe I wasn't? What is this? Storage devices can provide energy to transfer and research terminals. I don't know what that means. <laughs> this doesn't look like a dormitory. What's a joint in my world? I'm sorry. But no. I don't understand where they are. Okay, I do understand where they are. I don't understand how to get there. Oh, 
Enter office. Thanks. Oh. Okay. Sounds good. Whose office is I can just go in here whenever I want. This place is weird as hell. Please tell me where the fucking staircase is. Oh god, the music just got like... Oh, here we go! That was not obvious to me. Go to dormitories. So can I just like leave whenever I want? And then come back. But okay, I'm back in prison. Sorry, I had to go outside for a minute. I had to do my dailies. <laughs> oh, nice. What I get? Oh wait, I didn't pick it up. Ooh, it's in this one. A sword. They just gave me a sword. Uh, your, your grace. Good morning. I mean, good afternoon. No, wait. This what guy's gonna, like, again? break down in tears at any what minute. Time indeed. Time waits for no one, so it's best to keep an eye on it. Uh, my, my apologies, your grace. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Jeez. That guy's so nervous. He almost He's gonna start crying. <sighs> Sorry. Forgive my manners. Why are they so scared of him? These are the dormitories, which is where inmates sleep. The guards will inform you where your bunk is later. In the fortress of Merope. We're just afraid of no one. Spend most of their time in either the production zone or the sleeping areas. The production zone? What does it produce? Is that where we'll be working? Not necessarily. Though working in the production zone is the most reliable way to earn credit coupons. If you have other skills, you can skip your shifts to earn them in other ways. Wow. Wait, you're the manager of this place? And you're just telling us to our faces that it's okay to skip work? The fact that the Fortress of Meripede has continued operating completely autonomously is proof enough that most people are willing to work honestly and earn a stable income. As most people. Produce, many of the clockwork machines seen all over Fontaine originate from our workshop. Therefore, Sweatshop. the Fortress of Meripede is not only the a children yearn for the mines. sentences, but also a giant machine factory. There's no need for me to get into specifics about the production process now. You'll experience it all firsthand when you report for work. You got it, boss. <laughs> Let's move on. The tour continues over this way. <laughs> Dude, same way. <laughs> what is going on? What is going on? Also, her face is my face. Uh oh. Oh, uh, you really scared me there. I didn't expect to see you here, uh, Your Grace. <laughs> I thought maybe I was so tired. It's you. This is not me. The only thing you should be seeing is the work in front of you. Stay focused and keep up the pace. Oh, is something the matter? Uh, <laughs> it's nothing. Paimon's just work. the hell? Why is Linny here? That's not Linny. There's no way. That's, that's suspicious. That's suspicious as hell. Your Grace? 
you doing in the infirmary at a time like this? Not yet, unfortunately for you. But thank you for your concern, Siege. Oh. <laughs> then you must be here for those two. Allow me to introduce you. This is the infirmary, and Siegeween here is the fortress. Siegeween. <laughs> Hello, new faces. They call me the head nurse, but I actually handle all the nurse-related work all by myself down. Since you seem to have some rare downtime. They have one nurse. Patients, perhaps you could find the time to join us for dinner. Oh, then these two must be some important convicts. <laughs> sure. It is you. That is not me. Or do you mean the blonde? Which blonde? What are you talking about? I got him the drop. Me too. for today's tour. Oh, so the tour part is over now? I believe I've already covered the primary aspects of life here in the fortress. As for your work, there'll be someone else to guide you through the details. I want to go talk to Linny. Is there anything else? I seldom conduct tours, so why don't you just ask if you have any questions? Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, Linny is a Fatui. So did Arla Chino, whatever, however you say her name, send Linny here? Uh, well, or is it just a coincidence? What's going on? I'm here, but I'm not sure what to ask. Then let's head back to the coupon cafeteria. Maybe a meal will help you think up some questions. You should at least try to be excited. Our free meals are actually pretty good here. Can you imagine she's like actually just like this crazy insane homicidal maniac that got put in prison and was just a really good nurse and so they made her a head nurse. But she's actually just like a nut job. That'd be funny. That's the kind of storyline I want to see. No, I want to talk to Linny again. What do you think of the food? Does it meet your expectations? No. Wow, it looks delicious. Look how it made it so. Oh, isn't that the meal box that only super lucky people manage to draw? Seems like you two are quite fortunate. Oh. It actually has nothing to do with luck in this case. I had a word with Walsey, so you didn't have to draw lots like everyone else. So some people just get really shitty meals, and some people get really good meals. Oh, you mean the meals are random? What you get to eat depends completely on your luck. You could say that it's a distaste. Okay, so that guy's a maniac. That guy's a psychopath. The head chef. I'm annoyed. If criminals got to eat tasty food like this every meal, the crime rate in Fontaine would skyrocket for sure. Excuse me. Did I hear you mention Nervy Let just now? I've been wondering how he's doing. Is he busy with work? He seems healthy no matter how you look at him. But he works so hard all the time, so it must be really tiring. It sounds like he hasn't changed a bit. Looks like you can stop worrying so much, Sejuine. Oh, that's good. But I still feel like it's been too long since I've heard any news No news is good news. Maybe next time I've got something to discuss with him, I can invite you to accompany us. Hmm? But isn't the Fortress of Meropede independent from Fontaine's court system? What do you two have to discuss? Well, we provide all kinds of mechanical products for official use, and some essential goods have to be obtained from the overworld, so we naturally have to stay in touch about... Monsieur Nivellet's character is unimpeachable. No matter the question, you can discuss it openly and freely with him. Talking with him feels quite effortless. In light of that, I am quite willing to go out of my way to show respect and accommodate him. In fact, right now, I'm treating you two as guests invited by Monsieur Nivellet. But unfortunately... I can only do so until the end of this meal. Well, I guess I'll just eat really After slowly. This, you two will just be inmates here. You're very welcome. Well, your new life... For 45 works. days only, though. Head to the door. Oh my god, I gotta go back up. Wait, what? Is this all? This isn't all prison, is it?
Here we go. I'm so confused by these teleports. Here we go, okay, I got it right. Sup? Oh, look at that mustache. Traveler and Paimon, right? That's a Listen mustache up. you can trust. As new inmates, the only thing you need to worry about is what to do and when to do it. Don't make any extra trouble for yourself. Your bunks are right over there. Follow me. Can I just say, you look fantastic. You know, this is pretty good for a prison. <laughs> So this is where we'll be sleeping from Those beds are huge! Oh, I can't believe this! Oh, the days of staying home and reading... Uh, by the way, Traveler, we saw a lot of things worth it. Yeah, we did. Even though the Duke didn't say it too directly, judging from what he said at the end, it seems that he was only welcoming because we know no threat. We are criminals, and Paimon did eat that cake. But we're actually here to help Nervalette. Hmm. Is it possible that he knows we're here on a mission? Or is... Yeah, Paimon thinks so too. He probably knew why we came here from the very beginning and intentionally wanted to send us a message. Maybe something like, Hey, I have my eyes on you, so don't... Yeah, you're right. It's not like we can go back to Nervalette empty-handed and say... We could beat him up. Duke we're stronger than him. So we gave up. Uh, and besides, the Duke said that he was willing to go out of his way to show respect for Nervalet, so we at least need to try. But Hyman hasn't gotten a clue where we should start our You mean... Lenny! Yeah, that's what Paimon was thinking too! Paimon almost spilled the beans when we ran into him. Fortunately, based on his attitude, it looks like the Duke sees Lenny as just another inmate. We were He's here for the same. That's what I thought. Oh, right. Lenny and Lynette are from the House of the Heart. They work for the Knave, so they could be here to investigate too. Huh? Oh, it's a card. That's definitely one of Lenny's. It looks like a magician's prop. Lenny must have left it here. He's in prison and still. It was nice to bump into you again. Let's catch up in the production zone tomorrow. What in the world? It's really Everyone's just like heading to prison for camp. Paimon thought he'd write something important. If you say so, we can. Oh my god. You know, that bed is humongous. Hey, That's pretty in. nice. Well, it's Paimon's first day as a prisoner. Last night, Paimon dreamed about getting interrogated by the guards until Paimon told them everything, and then Paimon woke up. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, lazy bones. What are you still doing here? If you don't want to starve, then get yourselves over Where do I change my clothes, zone. officer? There's no door. This is a lack of privacy. Sorry. Go to the production zone. I don't want to talk to him. I want to talk to Linny. See, you stop saying it's me. It's not me. It's not what I look like. One with nature. Is this not the production zone? It's higher? Wait, what? Like, trying to find my way around here is a night. It is lower! Isn't it? Is it even lower? That's not possible. There's water. You stupid idiot! Oh, 
Oh, it's over here. Oh, it goes down. Okay. Got it. Oh my god. <gasps> this place is weird. Me no likey. I want to go home. I'm sick of the guards yelling at me. It's mean. I promise I won't commit any more crimes. Pretty please, let me out. <laughs> oh my god, this elevator's taking forever. I thought that was child for a minute. That's definitely not child. Hey, what's up? Ah, you must be the catch of the day. Looks like you've got some luck getting assigned this space. Yep, we just arrived yesterday and- Don't interrupt me when I'm speaking. You don't scare me, Grainville. If that's even your real name, I could kick your sorry ass. You stupid idiot. Kill that guy? I'll fucking kill you, you stupid piece of shit. What is your hair even doing? What's this stupid little piece of hair on your forehead, huh? Yeah, you ugly bitch. Hey, have you ever heard of a brush, buddy? Why don't you look at a mirror one day? You'll want to kill yourself after doing- Okay. Yes, they got that in my hair? No! Listen carefully to my instructions. I don't want any mishaps. Every machine here is worth more than the both of you. Working around these machines can be very dangerous. Do your job well, and you can eat in the cafeteria after your shift. Get sloppy, and you dine in the infirmary. I want to kick his anyway, ass. The fortress of Merope doesn't want to lose a single one of its machines. And it also doesn't want to waste the production potential of any inmate. You got that? Got it. This guy sucks. Your job is to use the machine over there to process widgets. Watch carefully, and make sure you step on the pedal at the right time. If the machine gets jammed, then give it a little maintenance with your fist. Here, take this. I don't like Bring that he said that. Widgets, and I'll give you some credit coupons in exchange. For the molding process, you must place the unprocessed parts into the machine and interact with the machine to start the challenge. When the parts get stuck while rotating, you need to attack the rotating part to restore the machine's function. When the part's base glows, jump to complete the molding process. When you finish, you must successfully reach- uh, What is this? Oh, oh my god. Okay. Place. Yes. Start. It's jammed. It's jammed. It's glowing! I got it. I got it. Thank you, Paimon. I got it. Yippee! This thing is jammed constantly. Your machines suck ass. Oh my god. Alright, I did your silly little task. This one is tolerable. Though, since the processing is done by machine, the product is all pretty much the same anyway. All right, I'll pass I hate you. Now, and we'll count up how many credit coupons you've earned. He's like, one. He gives us one. <laughs> you didn't do anything, Paimon! He's not scary, Paimon. I've killed gods before. You keep fucking testing me like this. Lenny, Miss 
Mr. Magician? Uh, where are you? Oh, this had better not be some disappearing act. Hmm. Wait, what? Doesn't seem to be around here. Let's try looking somewhere else. This place is so confusing. I don't... I don't like it here. I want to go home. I want to go home. What? I'm so confused. This is a fucking joke. This go. is a goddamn joke. They're playing on me. The, uh, let's go down the elevator. <laughs> Takes so long. Just give me a waypoint, you stupid game. Why would you do this? Why is your setup so dog shit? <laughs> Happy birthday. You know what? Guess what? In a month a and two days, Jewish it is my birthday. Gem. You good? No. I'm not good. I'm dead inside. Okay, I'm looking. I ain't seeing shit. You fucking stupid idiots. I'm here. He's not here. Happy early birthday. What are you going to get me? Uh, your mom. Mm, actually. Okay. Where could he be? Huh. Did he decide to slack off and sleep the day away? Music is hey, beautiful. Over here. Oh, hi. Oh, you scared Paimon. Oh, you scare so easily now. Is there something worrying you these days? Oh, you little. The only thing we're worried about was trying to find you. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Come over here and keep it down. What to do? Hi, Delinquent. You two. You two really are inseparable. That's right. My brother simply can't stand to be away from me. Oh God, uh, that's so weird. It's not just Lynette. Fremine is also here. What? The whole family just got sent to prison. Oh, you mean that diver from the House of the Hearth, right? I remember seeing him in the Court of Fontaine before. I can't use my phone. Oh no. Now hurry up and tell us. How did you end up as criminal? How did you leave your charger at school? You were innocent, but now it looks like our incredible court battle was for nothing. They be, you know what? Honestly, sadly, even I've the I've seen weirder you in prison these days. sibling relationships in games and performance and use the popularity shows from the opera house incident to attract a big crowd. And then next, I invited several audience members to participate in the show, and then with the entire audience watching. Their wallet suddenly disappeared. He just stole a bunch of wallets. Was charged with theft, and I was charged as his accomplice, having assisted him in his crime. Uh, it really isn't that bad. The missing wallets are all in the leftmost drawer of the Maison Guardianage's big filing cabinet. We just need to see how long it takes to discover them. Yep, we should be released then. I I gave it to a friend to charge his phone, and I forgot when I left. So oh. in terms of the magic trick itself, I think the performance went perfectly. <sighs> Leave it to Lenny to magic himself into prison. Indeed. Last time I hid my identity from you, I promised that I'd tell you absolutely everything if you were angry about it. No more secrets. So I don't plan on keeping anything from you this time either. At the moment, the House of the Hearth's interests don't conflict with yours at all. Getting some Bungo Stray Dog Season 1 sibling incest energy? <laughs> Yo, real. Oh my god. 
Like, they didn't- they didn't keep it going for very long, mostly because it wasn't relevant, but like, that was so weird. Why do animes do that? We were instructed by the father of our house, the Knave, to come here and conduct an investigation. <gasps> Told you so! See? I'm on just right! How's that sh- how's the Sherlock Holmes anime game going? Pretty good! As for what we're investigating, perhaps you haven't heard, but the fortress of Meropede hides a secret. Some even say that the entire fortress exists just to protect it. The House of the Hearth has been investigating this for a very long time, trying to uncover its mysteries. But recently, all of our informants, including the ones that had infiltrated the guards, suddenly vanished and have not been heard from since. So that's probably what happened to Child. We believe that this is a direct provocation, and it's the reason why we came here. Father has somehow managed to confirm that Fossilorus does not have Fontaine's Gnosis. Huh? How did she manage to learn information that important? You're wrong. Father has her ways. Many of them are beyond our imagination, and we've never had the chance to see her at work. But we trust her conclusions. It was this information that led us to suspect that Fontaine's Gnosis might be in the fortress of Meripede and is related to that secret. So it's all about the Gnosis again. Well, that's about it from our side. How about you two? Did Monsieur Nervulet yep. say- Bingo! The name has been applying a lot of pressure. She wants to know what happened to Child, so we came here to investigate. Uh, Traveler, are we allowed to tell- Yes, to let you already did. <laughs> you don't need to worry too much about that. She's just asking for a report on Master Child's predicament as a means of pressuring you. Father used this situation as a pretext to negotiate with two high-ranking officials in the court of Fontaine. She actually just wants to be able to make concessions on this matter for gains elsewhere. Almost like a bargaining chip. Sometimes you need an excuse to do things you otherwise couldn't. And a harbinger is more valuable than you might imagine. Of course, it's not a complete farce. If we do manage to find out what happened to Master Child too, then diplomatic relations with Fontaine could improve. And Snezhnaya might even be able to adjust its stance a bit. Is it just Paimon? Or does it feel like we're the only ones who actually care about child situations? Real! <laughs> the relationship between the Harbingers must be as bad as ever. I wouldn't go that far. Father just has different standards than we do when it comes to what can be sacrificed for an advantage. Uh, by the way, I have a suggestion. Why don't we team up? Even though we have different objectives, we're both here I'm gonna to kick your ass. the fortress of Mary. Get out of here, Bojack. I'm it kidding. More efficient for us to work together. As you know, the House of the Hearth has Literally no one cares about child. This is so sad. I'm so sad for him. Priority remains resolving the prophesized crisis. You can trust us on that. See, I told you. Is that so? Hmm. Sure enough, it won't be easy to convince them to cooperate with us. Lenny seems to be thinking pretty hard about something. Of course he is. Lenny has been looking forward to a chance to reach an understanding with you ever since last we met. Or, I should say, we were really looking forward to teaming up with you this time. Lynette, just tell them everything, why don't you? It's okay to open up a little. Very prudent of you, and consistent with your behavior since we first met. That's reasonable enough, and I agreed to cooperate on these terms as well. I was prepared for the worst, but you were actually more agreeable than I anticipated. <laughs> All right, then. There's no time to lose. I have some information to share, so listen carefully. Since Lynette and I arrived here, our investigation uncovered the fact that the Fortress of Meripede has a forbidden zone. Most people just clammed up and wouldn't talk, but after asking the right questions, we were able to confirm the existence of the Forbidden Zone from the guards. You should be aware of that while you're investigating. A Forbidden Zone? Oh, could that be where Child disappeared to? This is so you much dialogue. Definitely keep that in mind. I'm so... I feel so bad for poor Child. He's just like, trying to make money. Help his family, be a harbinger, occasionally try and destroy a nation, not a big deal. 
get sent to prison unfairly and then no one gives a fuck everyone's just using him free my boy he ain't do nothing wrong good that's the most suspicious thing about the fortress that we know of so far we have a few other unanswered questions and we'll be investigating them <coughs> as quickly as we can anyway i hope you find our information useful at least Oh, not really. Thanks, so. though. You two must be hungry. You should go to the coupon cafeteria and get something to eat. I'll use my cards to get in touch with you again in the future. Downsides of being someone with power. But. Oh, mm -hmm. that's just what Paimon wanted to hear. Paimon's starving after all that work today. We can talk more about the investigation later. Let's go get some grub. I'm gonna kick everyone's ass, including yours, Paimon. I'm sick of this shit. You know what? I should just take matters into my own hands. I could take down pretty much everyone here. And in Fontaine. The Knave? I don't know about that one. But everyone else, get ready for a beatdown. I'm pissed. <laughs> I'm angry. Oh, wait. Where are we going? Oh, my God. Okay. Yo, chat. It, so it sounds like Batman music. I mean, we took on the Balladeer and he was, wasn't he number six? Yeah. Time to go hardcore rules. I think I'm going to bed. Good night, Bojack. I'm going to bed too again. I'm actually gonna end stream. I still don't feel good, so. I had fun for a couple hours, but I think I'm gonna go back to bed, guys. I mean, I'll feel good. Harbinger list. 11.52 hours. He was... Yeah, he... No. Yeah? So... We don't even have him on the list. Oh, former member. Okay, he's under former members. He was number six. Which means he was pretty strong. I'm taking it primos for Farina banner. If I have enough stacked up, would when you like to pull on my account on stream? Yo, bet I'll pretend I'm rich. It'll be such good content. Are you kidding me? People will think I'm a whale or something. Okay, so I'm looking at this list, and I want to know how this this. Gross looking guy is number five. I would also like to know how ri the rich man pant pantalone is that how you say that? How is he number nine? I didn't think he had a, even like a vision. Was born into poverty, was never able to receive a vision. May your health be replenished like fa <laughs> Thank you, David. I have 10 right now. 30 to 40 poles. We did 30 today. That was pretty good. I scored a drop. I keep scoring drops. See ya, David. Yeah, I'm gonna end my stream, guys. But first of all, I want to see my drops. How do I see them? Wait, where are my drops at?
Strong damn. Ah, uh, he's his fighting is so fun. It reminds me of a uh, wanderer. Like the way it um the way he floats up if you hold his attack. He's really cool. I really want him. My 50-50 to Tainari, so I'm happily guaranteed Farina now. Nice! What drop are you talking about? Uh, the game drops. Genshin drops, duh. Just kidding. Use drop inventory. How the fuck? <gasps> I just need to watch for two hours. My stream has been longer than two hours, though. Redeem codes? No, Twitch drops. Wait, 75% of two hours? How is that it? Oops. Don't know what those are. You can get rewards for Genshin if you watch people streaming it and they have drops on. So when you watch, if you link your Genshin account, I think you have, you have to link your account, but if you link your Genshin account to uh, Twitch, you get rewards. If you watch for two hours, you get 20 Primo Gems. And since I stream all this game all the time, you can get it pretty easy if you just have my stream on. Or a lot of people's streams on. You can just find one and watch it. How do I link? Uh, I don't know. I think you go into your... If you click on your username, I don't know if you're on your computer or your phone. If you're on your phone, I don't know how to do it on the computer, just click on like your profile and it'll say drops and rewards. You can just find it there. Uh, you can link it there, I think. I'm not entirely sure though. I haven't done it in a while. Anyways, I'm gonna end my stream. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one. Sorry this was short. I've just been feeling sick today. And eating food made it sick again. Me sick again, so. Should have eaten a sandwich. That would have made me less sick, I bet. Anyways. Good night, chat. See you next time.